it's coffee. It's, it's Monday's with mom. Monday's with mom. I'm just filling in until you get it all going. This is it? No, this is it. <laughs> It was good. How was your weekend? I had a great weekend. Good. Um, good. What did we do? Oh, so we actually headed out and we were quadding all day. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Big tribe of us. How are the kids like that? <laughs> well, this is what I I'm going to talk to you about. Was there like, what is it, like six kids? Well, the six kids is no problem. Okay. That's It's whatever. It's, it's one kid in particular that I just want to... And then you can guess who that is. Would that be our Jeff? Yes. Uh, Jeff. <laughs> oh. Was he whiny or was he just He's, rank or? He is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I, I he doesn't know how to he doesn't know how to function like around people. I th and this is my what my fault is. I think I've done this to him because I ever since he was a baby. He's gotten, like, it's everybody's tiptoed around Jeff, right? Like, in case he blows up. Well, because he used to have those meltdowns. Yeah, well, yeah. So he still yeah. does. Yeah. And so everybody's just like, oh, don't piss off Jet, you know? And and also, I've been allowing him, like, way too much screen time. Yeah. So then when he gets in a normal situation with normal other kids and outside and whatever, he's uncomfortable. He's cold. And then he whines and he's cold. He's always oh, whining. Really? He's always yeah. complaining. And then if kids... If everybody's not, I don't know. You know what it's like. If he doesn't get his way, he's he will make your life a living hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I was going to ask there's you. There's always that one kid. Oh. Always. Always. And why does it have to be mine? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well we could go into all kinds of whatever. There's but always one. But this is what I was saying is he's at that age now. He's he's acting like a jerk and you can't accept that behavior you no. can't allow it you can no. it, like you can accept that this is why it's happening maybe whatever but you cannot allow that behavior. no because right now he's 13 yeah what he's allowed he what he's allowed now makes him into the kind of man that he's gonna be mm -hmm. and i mean we all know jet's heart got a huge heart yeah. and he's the funniest he's a kid, kid ever he's yeah. a good kid yeah he's, he just doesn't know how to deal with Anger and frustration, yes. I think, right now. Yeah. Because that, he feels... I think that's common for yeah, that young age. boys. Yeah. Because he feels like he has no control, like yes. no choices. And like he's Jet, still a little boy. And for Jet, that's a big thing because he always was the kind of kid, like we, Rod and I used to call him our little rain man, because he likes things in order yeah like he could he could if if things were in order and followed the plan he was cool well that one was... thing that really triggers him and sets him off is if the kids make a mess like if they like the basement oh, yeah he feels like the basement's his zone yeah and if someone le like mercedes left a empty ginger ale can out mm -hmm. the other day and he just went <laughs> berserk <laughs> well he's he's he needs things tidy and clean and he's and... marking his territory like like all young men But he men also was do. looking for an argument. Well, for sure. Like, for sure. Let's that call attention. a spade a spade here. For the attention. So this he's is the what... middle kid. He's got a lot of shit going on. I he's know. a middle kid. He's your kid, so he's got your brain. <laughs> well, let's call Pardon a spade me. a spade. Let's call a spade a spade. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 But this is what I'm saying is everybody's got a reason to be a jerk. It doesn't give you the, yeah. the right. Yeah. That's right. He's just got to learn that it doesn't give you the right. Yeah. Right. You just have to. Had to teach take him away that. some screen time. Oh, did you? Yeah. That's tough when you're a single parent because you got nobody backing you up. Well, that's not so hard. It's uh, the reason that we got to this situation, and I'm going to call myself out here, is because as a single parent, or I wasn't always a single parent, even just no. a busy parent. Yeah. Um, I. I allowed all that screen time because it was like a babysitter. Wow. Everybody's done that. Everybody's done yeah, that. Yeah, but it's gotten to a point where now I realize it's detrimental. Yeah. It's not cool. It's not good for him. He doesn't know how to relate to other people because all he just likes being in a dark basement with his screen. Yeah. So 
I need to rewind and reverse. Yeah. And, and well, solve. we've all been there. We, I mean, we've all done it. It's, you know, plop the kid in front of the TV before there was internet mm -hmm. and all that screen time, cartoon time. Here, guys, yeah. you want to watch a cartoon? We've all, because it's easier. It, I mean, we always pick the easiest path first, right? Yes, and but then, I'm learning that easiest is not always the No, best. it doesn't. Easy, a lot of times easy now makes hard, hard later. later. Choose your yeah. hard. That's what I that's like. That's a good, that, that's Well, that's not my saying, but yeah. I, I do love that saying. Choose your heart. Yeah. Uh, marriage is hard, divorce is hard. Choose your heart. I like that one. I like that, yeah. Um, and it can be applied to being broke is hard, being disciplined with money is hard. Choose your heart. Yeah. You know, it can be applied to anything. Yeah, so, yeah. So Wise what words. I was gonna, What I was going to bring up was uh, me when I was a teenager oh. because I always, you I remember you always tell this story, and I was the same way as Jet. Probably, I was pleased as punch, happy as pie around my teachers, around my friends. Whatever. Oh yeah! But I would come oh, home, yeah. and all hell would break loose. Which I don't remember this. This what she said, but uh, <laughs> you <laughs> said I was kind of a bitch. You were. So what? How did you deal with that? Or what the hell? What goes well, on? Well, I don't remember. That was a long time ago. You kind of tend to forget the day to day. But I remember, do, do you remember the story of how that came, how that came up, no. actually? Well, the story was, <clears throat> sorry, Nathan, I'm out you a little bit, but oh. when Nathan was, I think he was 14 or 15, and he was so quiet, respectful at home, never said anything, you know, he was just, oh yeah, he was, he was a quiet kid, he still is a quiet kid, and uh, I went for teacher interviews. Mm -hmm. And they were a little concerned about Nathan because he was starting to act up a little bit. Big, Flush and paper towels down the toilet. Big, big kid in a small <laughs> pond, I think. <laughs> Slamming doors and breaking them. Anyway, anyway, so they were a little bit concerned about, about him. And I was shocked because he was so, so quiet at home. at home. So quiet at home. And uh, then they turned to Andrea, mm -hmm. Miss Andrea. Oh, she's like the perfect student, and she's got you all these ideas. You didn't expect him to say that? No. And I just said to them, are you kidding me? Because she's a real little bitch at home. Oh, mom. Oh, I did. And Nat Gary was like, oh, I can't <laughs> believe she said that about her daughter. But you were just going through going that through whole thing. Going through it. Going yeah. through it. And that's what I'm trying yeah. to remain, you know, cognizant, thoughtful, Yes. Uh, you can't just let them go and say, oh, because it's going, what you're going what through, you're that's going okay. Through. Yeah. Because it's, it's not. Because then you learn that no matter what you're going through, you can act in a certain way. And that's, it's not, I think we yeah. have to learn to go through what we're going through with grace. Yes. And yes. I would like to teach him that. Yes. So that's my and, challenge. Oh, good. That's, that's a good challenge. And it is, <laughs> it is, it is tough, but you have to do it. I think that's why we have so many kids who's like, they have to, it's their feelings are all what it's all about, you know, and they grow up and you get young people like, well, it's all about me. Yeah. And if, if it's, if my world's not working, then the whole world doesn't yeah. work. I mean, that's a kind of no, abstract way to put it. And that's but, what's happening in our house. Everybody yeah. takes toes around yes. one kid because the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Absolutely. It's, it's one of those sayings that's been through all time that, mm -hmm. I mean, it works. It's and he's reason. got classic middle child syndrome. Uh, absolutely. I did mention that. Uh, which yeah. I can relate to yeah. because he feels like nobody cares about him. Well, and it's and it's a valid feeling. It's not that they don't care. You know, it's parents don't care. It's perception of... Because the older yeah. kid gets all the first stuff. Yeah. I mean, when you're a parent, your first kid, you're just learning. Yeah. You're... Still just learning. Just learning. And the little kid, well, it's your baby, especially if you know it's the last one. Yeah. You know, that's your little baby and... And uh, so the middle one sometimes. What happens with the middle one? The middle. <laughs> I don't know what happens. With the middle one. I've never been a middle one, but I got a middle one. I have. I've put a lot of thought into this actually. Have you? Yeah, actually. Because I, I really get a kick out of stereotypes. Like there's so many different. Stereotypes. But it's t it's. But the the reason why there are stereotypes is because there's a basis of truth to well, them. Well, sure there it's is. It's like. Sure it's there like is. softball, and I've tried it's like to softball under... players being lesbians. I know a lot of them. So there's a basis to all these stereotypes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What are you yeah. looking at me like that? Well, that you... just come out of left field. I'm like, well, I didn't stereotypes. Know. Yeah. That's, oh, oh, that's, stereotype. Yeah. That's okay. one of the stereotypes. Right. You know, right. you uh, 
think about the reason why there's a stereotype and it's usually because you see it something behavior over and over again yeah and a stereotype is just a it's like a not a dimensional idea of somebody right a stereotype is is okay you see them and that's what you think they'll be but when you start to really dig into the people those stereotypes just go Pfft. so anyway they're just the anyway. stereotype about middle children yes is that they're attention seeking brats and that yeah that's... <laughs> which you know i think middle children have have uh, they have to develop a certain survival quality for themselves yes because um, and if you're not a middle child you don't understand it like yeah. my sister there was three of us growing up there's mm -hmm. now four of us but there mm -hmm. was three of us growing up and the middle sister kind of always whined about being a middle sister and I never understood it and I never tried to understand it because when you're growing up you're like oh just stuff it well, everybody's, you know then but you now can, yeah. I'm trying to understand and I can see where she's coming from when you're when you're a kid you can't understand where she's coming from because you know, even you kids, what? you know, a middle child, I couldn't understand really, like, what? what's your problem? Middle kid, I treat them all, treat you all the same. But you don't. <laughs> well, because your personalities are different. Well, exactly. Exactly. But as a middle child, that is your perception, and that's what's oh, yes. happening with Jet. Yes. That's his perception. Yes, it is. Anyway, moving that on. That is, yeah. <laughs> what else do we got to talk about today? I don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh, really? No, I don't have anything. It is nothing new i did nothing this weekend absolutely nothing i was by myself all weekend mm -hmm. and what do you do with your free time oh eat chocolate chips yes <laughs> <laughs> wait, like i think everybody well i don't know if everybody because everybody's different but i had nobody look after my husband was gone not that i look after him you know how you know good he is but i just thought okay this is my free weekend and I can do whatever I want. I'll stay up till three o'clock if I want, but which that's I like can every eat. day for you. Well, it is, but I didn't have to make supper. I didn't have to worry about. It. I didn't. I didn't have to do anything. So I just took Did advantage. You enjoy it's it? like cheating. Yeah, it's like a little kid when your parents are gone for the weekend. Yeah. I didn't have a party because because I because I'm not fourteen. But uh, I Four. made myself milkshakes. I made <laughs> tequenos. Just did like, you? oh, yes, oh, I it was did. a food fest. <laughs> yeah, it was. You know what? I've noticed that too, and maybe I got it from you. Maybe it's your fault. That is everything your mother's fault. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, when I'm alone, when I have the house to myself, I want to eat stuff. I know. What is that? I don't know. It's it's almost like because we, I think it's because we forbid ourselves so I so don't. much. Yes, you do, because you're always dieting. Oh, I got to eat better. I got to eat well, better. Well, Come on, everybody does that, because uh, you know that you got to eat better. But having my kids in the house doesn't stop me from eating crap. No, but when you're alone, but it's when I'm like alone, the forbidden like, fruit. What can I, do? <laughs> I can eat whatever I want. Don't have to share it. It's like being a little kid again. So, yeah, Luki you'll love it. and I did a cooking show the other night. <gasps> did you? Yes, because um, I've been trying to, you know... Spend more time with my kids. Yeah. Give them a reason to get off their screens. Not be a lazy parent, right? And yeah, he loves cooking and he baking. Loves cooking. And I mean, it's I, it's ridiculous that he, his mom is someone who used to bake for a living and is the best baker. Uh, and I wasn't teaching him how to bake. Yeah. I I don't I don't even know how to. Well, it's use. it's like they say, like a plumber's a plumber's house the. Plumbing will always yeah. be shitty, Honestly, right? Honestly, it was the last thing yeah. I ever wanted to do. Yeah. And any time I still had the setup here, I would try and get him to, to come here and do it yeah. with me. But then he'd lose interest in like 30 seconds yeah. or whatever. You need a Kleenex? Yeah, look at this. I'm going to try that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see it? No, you can't. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Anyway, yeah. And I've been wanting to, you know, uh, do, make more content for my YouTube channel. Right. So I thought, yeah, wouldn't it be cute to have, like, because I've talked about before having a cooking show. Yes, and he's so adorable. He's so cute. Yeah. It's going to take a few to to work out the kinks and get the hang of things, but it was fun. Put the camera on oh, and make you, the I, I can hardly wait video. to see that, actually. Yeah, well, we need, I think it's like the Mondays with Mom. I need to do it a few yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. And... Kind of yeah, Luke, last time he came to my place, he even brought his recipe. He's box. into it. Yes, yeah. and Papa wrote down his 
pancake oh, recipe did he? for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, he wrote down his pancake recipe for him. He wanted a recipe book, but I had a little box, so that's yeah. what he got. And I had a box so when I was growing so, up, but yes. I remember you had a little box. Well, I, yeah. I remember what it looked like, even. Do you? It was like light blue and orange and white and it had little... Design, yeah, design. Yeah, exactly. I had that until a couple of years ago. Now I just use rods. Interestingly enough, you did not teach me anything in the kitchen. That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I taught you how to make pie. Pastry. You might know Grandma Lutz, oh, or Grandma Leach did. Really? The only thing you taught me how to do is use the food <laughs> processor to, to uh, grate the cheese for the pizza. No, I should. I'm of course I'm kidding. You have well, taught me some I mean, stuff. I mean, I baking I, wise though, you used to just let me go. Yeah, because I was a self starter that way. I would just and eat. I never liked to cook. I mean, I, I've never made any bones about that. I don't like to cook, although I do now enjoy baking a little bit. Yeah, when the when it's for fun. When it's for fun, and it yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try making some donuts. My mom was right. telling me that. That her neighbor, <coughs> Auntie Wilma, brought her some fresh made donuts the other day. And my mom said, at the same time I was saying, were they like grandma's? She said they were just like grandma's. Oh, really? Like my grandma. So yeah. you're oh, on a mission. Oh, I'm so, I'm going to well, try donuts. That'll give you something to do. Yeah, I'm going to try donuts. <laughs> Ridiculous. I know. Punch me in the face. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I never, I never hit you. Well, <laughs> that's not true. Well, there was I a remember wooden spoon. the wooden spoon. There was a wooden spoon involved. I actually, re isn't it funny how childhood memories surface? I'll bet you there's no kids now that that have a wooden spoon memory, and it's too bad. <laughs> actually, it's too bad. <laughs> I mean. It wasn't. We weren't beating you. It was just like a whack with a wooden spoon. I'm sure it hurt. Yeah. Well, I don't remember it hurting. I just remember the scene. I remember it in the old house, in the kitchen. I remember the OK Economy grocery bags sitting <laughs> on the floor. Like, your brain can remember that stuff. Yeah, I know. I, I know. can't even remember okay my economy. kid's birthday. But I can remember the OK Economy grocery bags on the floor while I was getting a licking with the wood spoon really? when I was two years old. Oh, you must have done something horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably snuck into the chocolate chip cupboard. Maybe. <laughs> the drink. Oh, the times. Yeah, my wooden spoons all disappeared. I'm sure everybody your age had, a, you know, can remember a wooden getting spoon. Getting a licking. Or some, getting a licking. Getting but, a licking. see, now we got to be careful. Oh, you can't do that Because anymore. they can go back now. They can go back and be like, "Come on, hey man, look how look how many people in the public eye have had to apologize and got fired for something they did oh, or said like I 10, know, 15, 20 I know. years ago." I know every every day there's a new comedian coming on and apologizing so for comedians, some twenty years. Because they're telling jokes about things that aren't funny to some people. To some people. To some people. And I think comedians should be exempt from everything. <laughs> I do. Because well. really, I mean, you laugh at your own self, right? If you can't laugh at yourself, when somebody's making a joke, they're just making a joke. Now, some comedians are hardcore. That's what I'm saying. I know, you there's that line. There's yeah. always... And yeah. who draws the line? I know. Who, who draws does, the line? I don't know. Karen's. Karen, Karen's. Actually, draw. Who, it, was, it was either Luke or Jet said to me the other day, Grandma knows what a Karen is. And I said, is Grandma Karen? And they're like, no. <laughs> they know what it is. Yeah. know so much. Yeah. Poor Karens of the world. The yeah. real Karens. I mean, the ones named Karen. I, I, I don't know. They should just laugh at it. And who started that? I don't know who started the Karen Karen thing. Who called him a Karen? It must have been a real Karen. No. It just seems like a name. It just seems like a Karen name. I don't know. You say Karen enough times, it's starting to sound weird. Karen. Karen. <laughs> hey, there's one thing that I wanted to, wanted to say. Because uh, I'm always thinking about content now and I don't want to be This boring. is hilarious. I know. Okay, you just gave me an idea. Okay, shoot. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I've seen this commercial, and maybe some people have seen this commercial. And, and I'm not trying to give messages. Like, I, I'm not a... But anyway, I You're saw this a commercial. What? And I thought... I'm not a Karen. And I... <laughs> <laughs> that's not what Karen is, but whatever. Okay. We should start a new name for something. For some, Anyway, that's different. But I saw this commercial, and I thought it was so... 
uh, not groundbreaking, but I thought, geez, everybody knew this. And it's women's, I don't know if it's women's international sign or if it's a, um, a, a what's that when you're deaf, sign language or yeah. whatever. But it's a commercial and they say it's a sign for help. And they, the commercial shows like this little girl being led by this man and you would think it would be her father but yeah. she gives this sign and it's a sign for help what is it and it's this you put your hand up like this your thumb in and go like this and that means help i can't even do with that hand oh man like how, this how can you i can't even fold my thumb what across. the heck is wrong with you you Ooh. can't do that anyway can you guys do that <laughs> i get all weird here like this. oh yeah you get stiff and then go like that that's and help. that's help. I thought that is like they're trying to get it out, but I've never seen it before. I've seen the commercial a couple of times. And probably a lot of, obviously a lot of people know this, but I thought, let's get that out. I think that's good job I think on that's the PSA, awesome, Mom. Yeah. That's the word of the day. Yeah. Help. Help. Anyways. Yeah. That's good. I, yeah. I just wanted to get, I, I thought that was really cool. Of course, I thought of Mercedes right away. When, Why? Well, because she's, a young girl and young girls sometimes get into situations but it also showed like two guys you know in an apartment obviously <clears throat> um, a gay couple one guy had a big bruise the other guy obviously had beaten up and and the guy answered the door and the guy behind him with a big bruise did this I, oh. oh I think it's so cool because and then you think well why can't they just say something well if if you've known or or talk or you know, watch anything about abused people, yeah. they're scared. Yeah. They're scared to say anything. But if you can do this, it's a sign of like don't don't say anything now, but call the police. I need help. You know. Wow. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. That so, is good. Yeah. Way to go, mom. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I like um, that. <clears throat> speaking of Mercedes. Yes. She's I talked to her for quite 16 a while. soon. I know. 16. I know. Uh, and she's car shopping. Is she? Yeah. Well, because 16 year olds now figure as soon as they get their license, they got to have wheels. I know. Hell. I know. Hell I don't know what? what did you. <laughs> exactly. It's like, honestly, your, mom. Your, your vehicle see, is her vehicle. That's the way it used to be. I see That's, all the uh, brand new whips parked in the high school parking lot and I meet when I'm dropping my kids off at school in the morning I meet teenagers driving way nicer cars than mine I know and I know it I'm baffles thinking, me baffles what me. did where did I go wrong <laughs> <laughs> you have the wrong parents where is my jeep <laughs> yeah no kidding Garth? <laughs> no kidding. anyway we were talking about because she's we've been looking for vehicles and there's this one Cute. She's got it in her mind. She needs an SUV. What? Yeah. Anyway, uh, it was a standard, and she's like, "Well, I can't drive a standard." I said, "My first car was a standard. Yes, it was, yeah. I learned to drive in my new car." Uh, and she. And anyways, we got to talking about uh, how did this go? Anyways, long story short, it came out that I didn't get my first car when I was 16 no, you I had not. to wait until I graduated high school yeah and until then I, my was car the was your car <laughs> yeah. yeah and it was I, the minivan. We, your car went a lot of places I know I've heard since I wrecked one of your but cars what is the, what is better <clears throat> than driving your parents minivan with a bunch of kids like but the, this I know is the they difference. can't do that anymore the difference is you always had other vehicles on the farm to yes, drive. yes I am a one vehicle household yeah so yeah. I get it that. would be and especially with her driving back and forth to her dad's and whatever yeah. and she now now we're talking about getting a job because oh this is how it went because she saved up money for her I know, car. she's good at that, yeah. And But then she, now she's wondering, well, how much does registration cost? How much does gas cost? How am I going to pay for this stuff? Like, you got, you're going to have yeah. to get a job. And she said, yeah. well, you didn't have a job when you were in high school. I said, I didn't have a car when I was in high school. There. I didn't have to Boom. do that stuff. Right there. I didn't. But, I mean, I got to drive your car all yeah. the time. Yeah. But, and we lived out in the middle of nowhere. But there's no reason she can't have a job for a little extra spending cash. Yeah. But because of COVID, you know, the old go-tos of babysitting and whatever are, yeah. are out the door. Yeah. So now she's got to get a job at 
somewhere and that and then it opens this whole well what if i have to work on saturdays and that's gonna oh, affect my yeah. life and, i know that's tough when you and i said it's do you want it's real gas life. and a car and work a couple saturdays or do you want to sit at home and do nothing because you have no job no gas and no car <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's you know and 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 kids kids need that like you don't want them to grow up too fast, but if you want to be grown up, here's the grown up responsibilities that go with it. Yes, it's important to know, yeah. especially in today's world. Like it's important to know what your responsibilities are going to be when you graduate. Yeah. Because well, you know your stepbrother Jay. I know you know him. I know anyway, him. we love Jay Bird. Anyway, when he first moved up here and he had quit school, and I'm not gonna. We were disappointed, but it wasn't for him. You know, it, it was it was just hard for him. So he he thought he'd just come and hang out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Jay thought, what you going to do, Jay? Well, I thought I'd just hang out with you guys. And <laughs> <laughs> nope, Jay. No, it ain't gonna, it's not going to go that way. <laughs> but uh, so he got a job and he works. But I remember telling him, Jay enjoy these teenage high school years because you know you everybody wants to grow up fast because they see all the fun that adults get to do but mm -hmm. somehow they don't see the ugly crap we hide that too no but you we have... hide that too good from the kids and just just not very long ago and i, I said because being a grown-up kind of sucks and uh of course being a teenager uh, what does she know what does mommy dearest know yeah and uh it wasn't very long ago <laughs> Jay said to me, you know, Mama, he said, you were right. Yeah. <laughs> the grown-up sucks. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't. Well, that's where I would like Mercedes to learn. If she's going to want a car when she's 16, fair enough. But it, it doesn't just get handed to you. Yeah. And it doesn't take care of itself. Some, for some people, some families, it does. And, and whatever. If that's your thing. No, whatever. Whatever. But in my house, yeah. it doesn't. No. And I think it is good for her to know what it costs to have those, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yes. Privilege. Privilege. Kayla. Oh, word Kayla. Of the day. Privilege? Privilege. That's our word of the day. Okay. I day. like that. Privilege. If you want these privileges, you yeah. have the responsibilities, yes. luxuries. Yes. yes. Things you can enjoy because everything has something tied to it yeah when we went to get your car yeah for your graduation and we were so excited about this and it, we, i can't we, believe i didn't know because i can sniff out a surprise oh i know we hid that from you good i could not believe but, it and so we went shopping and of course the salesman he's showing us all these nice little brand new sports cars and all this kind of stuff and and i had never had a brand new car yeah your dad and i always bought used cars we didn't i'm not a car person whatever yeah and so he's showing us all these nice, fancy little cars, sports cars, which I love. And I'm going, no, it needs to be a used car. We're not buying her a brand new car. So then he brings out this, I think it was a Trans Am or something like that. The car you actually bought? No, no, it was, it was a, a nicer sun. car. It was, it was, it was like a sports car. And he said, well, here's a used car. And I <laughs> saying to the, I said, that's a nicer car than I drive. And there's no damn well way that my 17 year old daughter is going to have a nicer, newer car yeah. than me. And Legit. it's not, and it's not about, it's not about stupid jealousies or anything like that. That's dumb. It's common sense. It's common sense. It's common sense. What? It's common sense. <laughs> yeah. And I loved my car. Oh, it was a great little I car. I love that car. I was, ho I was scared you weren't going to like it because it wasn't the... It wasn't the prettiest, shiniest. It was Mom, silver. I just wanted wheels. I know. And I, know. I think that's the way it should be. Yeah. And even to this day, it's funny because I have been dying for and one of those old uh like any like a like a Grand Marquis or like like an old just one of those old cars with the bench velour. Oh seats. yeah. Well see that's vintage to you guys. Yeah. Because well, you guys never got to experience that. For me, when I think old cars, I thought you were going to go back like, because an old car to me is like in the... No, but for me, I want like a bomber car that oh, I can bomb those were around the best. in. And it's so the comfortable. And you can best. do, you can just lay back and 
Smoke we a used cigarette to, in it if you want. We used to Who take cares? a car and you could fit like half a hockey team in yeah. there. And, and I want just go activities well, in yeah. my car. <laughs> I'm looking for there, there was those a cars mobile. accommodated a lot of different activities. And you'd take a whole crew with you. Actually, not very many years ago, Rod bought this old car for the motor. And all us... You know, fifty somethings. This was like being a teenager again, and we all piled in. There was six of us, yeah, and just bombing down the road. And they just float. Oh, I they know. They just float down the road. Like Easy this. rider, yeah. lonely yeah. rider. Yeah. I know. And we're all there. Windows and, are all down. Oh man, it was. We had so much fun. We we drove down to another town to a bar. It was like being a teenager well, again. It was the most fun. So that the was that was kind of what mercedes figured that i should buy myself a car like like an old car like that and oh yeah she could have my ford explorer oh oh i see yeah yeah maybe well, for the summer maybe i maybe. i would love to bomb around in a in a yeah i've been looking as we did in I've the summer looking. i i just loved it love those cars <laughs> with and i want i want uh vanity plates on it oh don't no yeah really on my what own, is it gonna say i can't tell you no <laughs> Oh, well, I miss those cars. But you know, they were heavy and there was lots of car accidents back then. Well, I was going to talk about car accidents. But they didn't crumple up like little paper mache things. Those cars were built to you last. Could, you could hit That's why good we quality could drink, wildlife. Yeah, we could drink and drive and... Which again, and don't do. shame on you. I know. But we did. <laughs> oh, we did. Oh, Craziness, we did. I don't know. We all say, how it's did we It's amazing we survived. Well, part because... of it was because those big old cars. Part of it was, ask your Uncle Blair how many times he rolled vehicles and lived. And they were great big old bomber yeah. cars. Yeah, that's true. They were. That's true. They don't make them like they used to. I do remember uh, your dad and I borrowing your Uncle Blair's car when he was uh, he wasn't married yet. And it was a great big old red thing with white interior, oh, leather yeah. interior. It was just awesome. What kind of a car was it? I can't remember. I know. This I don't know a, car this makes. Is That's a guy. Thing. I know. <laughs> the only thing I ever know about a car is the color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was red. Yeah. I don't know what kind of car. It was a big, red car, yeah. big, low car. Anyway, yeah. we got in and looked in the back seat and there was one set of, on this side, there was one set of shoe prints this way. At once. Oh, <laughs> I'll me. never forget that. Sorry, Andrew, but it was <laughs> activities. Yes, yes. Well, there was lots of room in them back seats. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's what we used fun. to do. They were fun. Yeah. And talk about lots of room. Uh, Crystal and I, when I was doing Crystal's interview, yeah, we were so talking cute, about yeah. when I used to take the old maroon minivan. Our minivan. I was fifteen. And you, if, if it was my weekend for the, our group of friends. There weren't any untoward activities in that. No, then. that's okay. not what I'm talking okay. about. No. Okay. That was in somebody else's car. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you take the minivan because we had like a lot of girls. Yeah. And we have to go out yeah. of town, Hudson Bay, yeah. Porcupine. No, we, yeah, Porcupine, Tisdale, wherever. Yeah. Anyways. We had a, we had a lots of close calls with your. Vehicles. I know, I know, because your dad woke up that one time. It was Sunday morning, and he come Sunday morning. Sunday morning, time to get ready for church. And he came in and he said, "Come here, I got to show you something." Oh. I went out. There was deer hair. Yep. Stuck Everywhere. in the side of the doors, the door and a house. little bit of vomit on one of them. Yeah. And and yeah. I'm like, well, and then that's and your then, finger. Then you then. So he got Shara and I out of bed to, we had to go to church because we had been out the night before. <laughs> Shara, I think got lucky. We dropped her off at home. She didn't. Probably. Yeah. But anyways, so we go out to the garage to get in, into this deer hair mobile. Yeah. We had hit something the night before. Well, it kind of glanced, bounced off of us. Oh anyways, my God. Open the sliding door and a bo empty bottle of lemon gin just slowly rolls out from under the front seat <laughs> and there's gum stuck on the seat because it was stuck to Shara's ass the night before and, it, and there was yeah it was it smelled 
I know I laughed. I can't. Re I don't think your dad was laughing. No, I know. I thought it was kind of funny yeah. in a way. But oh, I mean, yeah. all you can do is laugh. We didn't have cell phones back then when you guys were teenagers. So what we was that like? Because well, I, I now that my kid is a teenager and she doesn't even do anything no, bad. Like no. she was over at my sister's house on Friday night, and even then, it's like, well. well and she has a cell phone. Yeah. I can't imagine not knowing where my kid is, what she's doing, when she's coming home. I remember calling you from parties, from the landline, from the party, and trying to give you the story that we had a flat tire yeah. and I was going to be a little late. Yeah. Yeah, like I <laughs> like had never used that one before. Yeah. <laughs> But you're out, you're out at the party. What are you going to do? I'll well, deal with you it know, when I get home. And, the, and the, the, the scary thing for for us around here is that you guys had, you went to another town. Like we lived in a rural area. Yeah. So you, had you, to you travel. go to another town, you're yeah. on grid roads, you know you're drinking, you're at pit parties, don't know where Hopefully you are. Hopefully you have a sober driver. But you guys never did. Oh, we did, did sometimes. You? Did yeah. you? Uh, Heather Munsey's Oh, always yeah. Been... She, we could yeah. always count on Heather to do that. Yeah. But, you know, you kind of had to just... Pray? Give it up. You kind of just had... You guys would go out. You had to pray that you yeah. raised your kids, even though you knew they were all going to do something. But you couldn't... You couldn't sit sit up and, and wonder and wait and be scared. It was just like... Yeah. And, when you're, and your dad said to me once... Well, if they're laying in a ditch somewhere, there's nothing you can do oh, about it. And, and it feeling. was, it was, it was scary, but you finally just learned, well, I just got to go to sleep and uh, hopefully I'll wake up in the morning and they'll be here. And if they're not, then I'll go look and, and then your heart starts pumping. You can't let it pump before. I did get a call once six o'clock in the morning from an RCMP and it happened to be a weekend where all three of your kids were home. Uh-huh. Uh, from your various colleges, hockey, whatever. Oh, we were college age already. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I think Janelle was maybe still in high school. I don't really know. And so we were uh, all out. You all went out <laughs> together. <laughs> together. Oh. Took the mini, I know. The minivan. Those are few and far between. I know. And uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, the phone <laughs> rang. Oh, jeez. Your dad was already out doing chores. It was And summertime. all your kids are gone still. And all and my went kids are gone. Together. And <laughs> The phone rang. I th you guys might have even been home, but actually it was an RCMP. He just come on to shift. And speaking of Heather, she had applied, and they were checking references. And he, she had put your dad down oh as God. a reference. Six in the morning. Yeah. So I answered the phone. He goes, "Hello," and he goes, "Hello. This is Sergeant, you know, Joe Stupid, from <laughs> RCMP. I'm calling you at six o'clock in the morning. You know, Sunday morning. Yeah, Sunday morning. And immediately my heart dropped because ah. I thought it was a phone call oh my about God. your kids, but he was wanting to talk to Garth at six o'clock in the morning. The, the best memory I have from coming home from a party, I can't remember what party I was at. I don't remember anything. I just remember, oh, I think Pierre LeBlanc dropped me off uh, and the sun was coming. Never trusted that kid. And for no good reason, because I was always 100% safe with Pierre LeBlanc. Oh, I, I mean, I trusted him that way, but... Well, he used to beat up on my anyway, anyway. Uh, he dropped me off in the yard. Sun was coming up, and I am wasted, probably. And I'm walking up to the house on the front. You were trying step. to be sober. Hey, let me tell oh, my sorry. story. Okay, You're killing my punchline here. <laughs> I get out of the car and I'm walking up the front step, and I look because it was like sun was coming up, so I could see the silhouette of something. I was like, "Is that a cow on the doorstep?" And I give the old. <laughs> <laughs> it was a friggin' cow. No, really? Yeah. The cows had gotten out and it was standing right in my path between me and the front door. And I was wasted and I was thinking, is this for real? <laughs> <laughs> Growing up living on a farm, I, would, I will never forget that. I was like, what in the hell? So did you put the cow in? No. Well, you know, that's that's what I would have done because that proves you're sober. You know how you try to do anything I, to make it look Mom, like you were sober? You know I didn't know where the cow went. No, I know. <laughs> like a Shoot. farm girl living on a farm. <laughs> 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 <Girl. laughs> <Come on. laughs> Not much point to her live this morning, but... Not really. We didn't really have a whole lot. There's really nothing going on. 
Well, not yet. there's lots going on. Well, I know, but you mean, I mean, socially. I know I was thinking the other day, I can hardly wait to smile at people. You can still smile at but people. But they can't huh? see it. But it with doesn't the matter. I know, but I want... So does that mean that you're not smiling at people? No, I still am. I still am because it's a natural thing to smile at somebody when you see them. Do you find you know, that when you're wearing a mask, I try extra to smile so they can tell I'm smiling? I try to smile with my eyes. Yeah. Smize. Like... Smize. Okay, have you seen this tr this trend on uh, TikTok? No. Of course you haven't. No. Uh, <laughs> it, you're Just supposed don't. to go, what is it? You look at the camera, look at the camera, okay. and smile. Okay. Now raise your eyebrows, which I can't because my forehead's frozen. <laughs> Still. Uh, <laughs> and now don't smile. Oh, wait. Is that how it goes? Anyways, that's supposed to be your supermodel face. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I should have well, your eyes yelled that so before. Big. It's like you're supposed to look at the camera, raise your eyebrows, smile, and then that's your that's your model face. Oh. Anyway. Oh. Let's no, but I up. do want to smile at people because it makes somebody's day. If somebody you don't know, a stranger, just smiles at you. Yeah. It makes your day. It brightens it up, and that's all you got to do is smile at somebody. So smile. It's your privilege to smile. And remember the PSA. Yes. Help. Help. If you come home and there's a cow on your doorstep. <laughs> Help. <laughs> okay. It's been a good day. Yeah, I got to get home before the storm hits. Oh, we didn't even talk about no, the storm. No, we didn't. We'll talk about it next time. Yeah, for sure. Have a good day. Bye. Oh.